So maybe you're wanting to get into the whole home automation thing, but don't know where to start. Well, I'm gonna show you some of the first steps to get into it that also won't break the bank, and then you'll see just how much easier it will make your life. Computer, start the intro. Okay. Master Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black, and I love to review cool gear that comes my way. If you like this kind of stuff, don't be a stranger. Click this button right there. Links to everything will be down in the description, so you can find it all down there, plus a surprise link. Now, the funny thing is, Maras actually sent me this plug, and this is something that I've actually been using a lot already. So it came my way, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should make a video about it and show you guys how I use it and how I got started in this. And obviously, the real first step would be picking your home automation system, whether that would be the Apple HomePod or the Google Home or Amazon's Alexa. And I'm a big fan of Apple, and I have a lot of Apple products. However, I didn't go with the HomePod. I actually went with the Alexa because at the time it was better priced and it was just way more compatible with a lot of different things. Now, that might be a little bit different now, although I'm still happy that I went with Alexa because it's great. I actually have four Alexa devices around the house, one in the office, one in the living room, one in the bathroom, and one in the garage. Although those last two I mainly use to like turn on the music or set an alarm or you know things like that. Alexa, play Danny Black music. Music by Danny Black. But let's just focus in on my office right here. I have an Echo Dot and I love it. This thing is great. And then I have like six of these plugs around this office where I can turn on different lights and different plugs depending on what I'm trying to do. I also have a fan for my computer so I can just turn that on and off. So if I'm recording something and I don't want that fan noise to be on, I could say, hey computer, turn off the fan. I also have my whole desk on one unit so I can just turn everything on and off, just voice activated. And depending on where I'm filming in this office, I can turn on different key lights. And it's just so much easier than going back and trying to turn them all on individually. And some of the plugs are like hidden behind like boxes and stuff, so it's kind of hard to get to. So it just makes life that much easier, especially in here. This also works perfect if you want to light different parts of your house. You could set them up on schedule so that if you're gone and you want lights to be on so it looks like people are home. Or even cooler, if you're away, you can actually just remotely turn them on from your app. Or if you can see if they're on or not, you can turn them off. We have one of these connected to like an inside security camera. So if we leave the dog home alone and we want to check up on him, sometimes if we forget to turn the security camera, it's just nice to just turn it on remotely from the app. Now, obviously there's a lot more things that you can do with home automation, but this is just a really good start. And then they also just sent me their LED light strips, which look really cool. These are LED light strips. There's two of them, five meters long, and these will also connect to your home automation. So you can just be like, turn on the light strips or whatever you want to call it. You can go through the app and name it, whatever you want to name it, like uh, put the mood lighting on and it'll put the mood lighting on. And then you can even set different scenes of colors to reflect those moods that you want. But now let's just look deeper into the Maras website because they have a lot more cool products there. And look at this. I mean, you have a dimmer light switch that you could just put right into the wall. Outdoor plugs, which would be perfect if you have Christmas decorations or you have outdoor lighting and you can just turn them off or on remotely or on a schedule. A garage door remote, which I actually, I need to get one of these because that would be so much more convenient just to be like, you know, Alexa, open the garage door instead of trying to, and our garage is kind of dark and the button's kind of hard to find. And then if you're like away from the house and you're like, did I shut the garage? You could actually just make sure it's shut. They have smart light bulbs, which are really cool. I mean, they're powered by just the power from the light bulb. So you put it in to the light bulb socket in your ceiling. There's also lamps, diffusers, a water leak sensor. You put this on your bathroom floor and then maybe if you left the tub on or a sink is overflowing or the toilet's overflowing, it'll actually let you know right away so you can get that sorted out. There's a lot you could do with it. It's really exciting. It's really cool. I love it. This is really fun technology. And the point of this video is just to kind of share with you how to get started into this because a year ago, I didn't know any of this stuff and I had no idea how to get started. And yeah, this is just a great way to get started with just using this with a few lights around your house and you can kind of get an idea of how well it's gonna work and how it will improve the quality of your life. It really does. But that's it for today's product review. Thanks, Maras, for sending me two more of these plugs and the light strips. A lot more products to review on this channel and some fun videos to make and a lot of really cool stuff happening. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.